Don't you go killing her. Nah. We're planning on hanging. You really kill all those men dead, Kate? Or did you just wound some of them? That is you there, ain't it, Kate? The bitch, a buffalo? The bride. Oh yeah, bride. Kate, you always was hailing Jesus with a pistol. But protecting a skirt too? How little old you managed to do that? I can assure you, Mrs. Daggett. It's Sheriff Daggett to you, miss. The events described within are based on the eyewitnesses' account, sir. Meaning the bitch and Keith herself, I guess? Right, Sheriff. And she don't take too kindly to that word. Bitch, I says. You have insulted the honor of this woman, said the tramp. You must apologize, but Two-Gun Cochran would have none of it in cursing. He reached for his pistols. The tramp was faster. The hot lead blazed from her smoking six guns. I believe this to be an accurate description of the event, sir. Well, Miss Bocamp, I was at the Blue Bottle Saloon in Wichita the night that Kissing Kate killed Corky Corcoran. I didn't see you there. Nor no other woman, nor no other two-gun shooters. You were there? First, Corky never carried two pistols, though he should have. But I thought he was called. Some folks did call old Corky two guns, but not because he was sporting two pistols. Because he had a dick so big that it was longer than the barrel on that Walker Colt that he was carrying. After he and that tramp there had a fight, he came over to the saloon for a couple drinks. I guess he thought she had fallen asleep. She comes screaming drunk, and guns blazing. She couldn't even hit anything. She was hitting bottles, and because she was all ruffled to aim. Now, Corky drew his damn gun so fast he shot off his own toe. And Kate, firing off a couple more, and screaming to Corky, die you scoundrel. Well, it was Corky's turn. He took real good aim. No hurry. Aim? Bam! That Walter Colt blew up in his hand, which was a failing much with that model. You mean, you mean she killed him while? Being drunk, she walked up real close, and she shot him through the jewels. He deserved it. The bastard raped me that night. Then actually, Mr. Cochran was quicker to the draw than kissing Kate. Bastard was his mistake. And being a good shot, quick with a pistol, that don't do no harm. But it ain't much without motivation and staying cool. A man who can keep his head and not get rattled under fire, with proper perspective, makes him deadly. <laughs> it ain't easy to kill a man anyhow. Look here, let me show you something. Take it. Go on, take a hold. It won't bite you. Them are the keys. All you have to do is shoot me, and you and Tramp Kate can ride out here, free as birds. Is this loaded? Well, it wouldn't be good if it wasn't. All you have to do is cock the hammer, though. All you have to do is shoot me, darling. You didn't even put your finger on the trigger. What if I was to get to the bride? Go ahead.
Give it to her. <laughs> Guess she doesn't want it, Miss Bocamp. You were right not to take it. I would have killed you. You take advantage of a drunk. But you pass on the opportunity to be a real outlaw. Tell me, Kate. How many of those men did you kill in cold blood? Were they all drunk? Or did you give a guy a chance? Spineless. Like a true bitch. I heard that Corky Corcoran got himself a piece that night. Be a good tramp. So give me a crack at the whip. Sheriff! This will ride a buffalo. And you're right. It takes motivation to kill a man. <laughs> Now you're going to find out why they call me Kissin' Kate. Sheriff. Sheriff, Bill. Bye-bye, <laughs> Bill. See you in hell.